Rondine! Trading is a wonderful profession. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, I'm sure it is, but I... You, you can't distract me! You are hiding something from me! Farewell. No, you can't get rid of me that easy! I know you've got hidden armor back there in that ship, and I want it! Let us begin! You're goddamn right we will! Hello, my fellow hunters! Did you know that there be, well, eight hidden and honestly incredible armor sets for you to unlock that don't come from any of your regular monster hunting? We have Death Stench back once again. In fact, all of these are very nice to see. We have Spio. We have ourselves Adele. Hello. We have the Melahoa, we have Moscow, yep, the Pumpkin Glory, we have the Vike, which is like fish viking, actually very, very cool, and Maclova, and then finally the Jelly armor set. So this is quite the little collection, and you're gonna want it, especially when, I don't know, something like the Spear Waste has two weakness exploit on it by itself! And it looks amazing! Oh my god! In any case, how do we go about acquiring this excellent equipment expertly? Well, it's all about the Buddy Plaza, and it's all about Rondine, and uh, the uh, Meowcenaries. Firstly, we'll handle Rondine. Very well. So, when you go to Rondine, and you ask for a trade request to get your honey farming, and all the other various useful materials to fund your hunting, well, you will notice that there is a potential bonus item that you can acquire with every single one. And there are three categories of these bonus items. You have your seeds, your, your berries, your nuts, and these can come with Dust Biscus and Spring Night Carp. Then you have the next category, the mushrooms and bugs. These can come with Dream Shell, Blossom Cricket, and Butterfly Beetle. And then finally, you have your plants and fish. And these can come with the Toxic Komori Beetle and the Armored Bream Fish. So, they will be generated as random lucky extras every time you complete a hunt and have a little influx of your farmed material. When you'll get them, it's kind of up to chance, but they're not that rare. Just cycle through some low rank trash monster that you can kill in a minute, and you'll eventually generate them. The catch is then that each of these unlocks an armor set. Now, I will assume that you have all of the honey ones because you will be farming honey, because everybody needs to farm honey. The Dream Shell armor set's quite cool, and also, of course, you get the blossom, but that's, that's all fine. The other four, then, are where it's at. So let's start with the armor unlocked by the Toxic Kumori Beetle. This is the Spio armor set, and, well, firstly, it just looks so amazing. Like, it really, really is a cool armor set. And uh, you will notice, then, it's bristling with a fair amount of alright skills. Weakness exploit being, of course, the champion among them. The helm, two slot with two poison attack. Uh, the chest, a latent power with a two slot. Uh, the gloves, a latent power poison resistance with two one slot, so the boots, a, another latent power poison resistance mind's eye with a one slot, that's all kind of just eh, perhaps extremely nichely useful in some extremely niche set. However, the waste, as I showed you earlier, despite having no slots, is two weakness exploit. That's the Zenoga helm and chest combined into one and incredibly useful and powerful for endgame set building. You want this set and you want the Toxic Kumori. Next up then, unlocked by the Dospiscus plant, is the Melahoa set, a flowery, petaled type affair that's all about, well, recovery, resisting paralysis, and gathering. It's nothing too crazy, though it does fill all of them, and that's kind of neat to see, but it's nice to have for perhaps a eventual layered armor if, you know, that actually happens. Like, good lord, god, please let it happen. Oh, please let it happen. <laughs> anyway, next up is the Vike armor set, coming with some gunner skills, but also more than that, well, you will see. This is unlocked by the armored Bream, and 
it's pretty alright slottage. A 2 and a 1 with your ammo up. The chest, however, is very interesting. It joins a, a few armor pieces that are just covered in slots despite having no skills themselves. And this is actually very good. You can do a lot with this once you start crafting up a good decoration collection. You do need to do a lot of fishing in order to craft them though. So, you know, take that as you will. A very, very cool looking set and it's very nice to see it. Finally then, unlocked by the Spring Night Carp is the Macluva set, a fishy type jestery uniform that again, honestly, looks really good and I am glad it is here. And this is an aid to anyone who likes a bubbly dance Mizutsune type set. And uh, well, you can see why. We have our Bubbly Dance Leap of Faith gloves with a two slot which are pretty good for a Bubbly Dance build. We have Sleep Resistance three slot waist and finally Bubbly Dance Speed Eating two one slots legs. So a lot of them are quite average pieces across all of these armors but you're still going to want to have them because there are a few pieces in each that genuinely will really power up certain sets and I feel like that's really cool that there's so much to unlock just from trading. But it doesn't stop there. Yo! No, we have our Meowcenaries, and uh, from the lava caverns, uh, from uh, the uh, sandy plains, from the flooded forest, and from the frost islands, if you send your Meowcenaries out, ideally, when the resources are sparkling, you will get, well, lucky, and acquire a very unique material from each zone. So, uh, without further ado then, what does each of them unlock? Well, from the Frost Islands, there is the Stargazer Bloom, and this unlocks the Adele set. Hello. And this is kind of, eh, bit of poison resistance, recovery up, and capture master. You're probably not going to care too much about this. In fact, I don't even really need to give it uh, the the talk over. The only really piece of note is the chest with two recovery up and two one slots, again for any kind of recovery shenanigans build, but it's just mainly here for flavor. But you know, it's better than not having the armor set, again for eventual, hopefully, please god, maybe layered armor. Then, we have our old friend, the Moss Gall, which is uh, the Omega Pumpkin unlock from uh, the Flooded Forest, and this is also a kind of okay armor set. It's not bad for basically any uh, gunner that wants to use fire ammo. It's got your reload, your recall, your fire attack, and, you know, that might go a ways towards making quite a nice little set. Two two slots on the helm is not bad, reload speed and a two slot on the chest, a bundle of Slots on the arms, despite quite average stats. The fire attack for three, all on the waist. That might be a very good piece by itself for anyone who wants a fire element build. And then some recoil down and a two slot on the legs. That's your Moscow, and yeah, it's pretty damn nice that uh, we have access to it. After that, then, from the sandy plains, there is the most sinister of cloth once more, which unlocks our very familiar death stench armor. And this one, again, not the worst set in the world. Maximum Might is very valuable for a lot of weapons, Rapid Morph obviously very good for you switch axes, and maybe Charged Blades. Protective Polish is fine, Fortify is fine, and it uh, just looks very, very damn cool, and a fairly good amount of slottage as well. There are definitely pieces here, like the two Maximum Might gloves, that are gonna see a lot of usage. Then finally, from the Lava Caverns, requiring a little bit of jelly is the jelly armor set. This needs the goth jelly to be acquired, and it's a very, very cool set. I mean, it's a jelly set. I, I, I don't really know what I expected here, but it is covered in a part breaker blast attack, which is actually fairly valuable for blast weapons. It's harder to get hold of, and a bit of divine blessing. So that's all well and good. Now, the slottage is okay-ish. There's a uh, three slot with that part breaker divine blessing, the uh, chest being uh, the two blast attack, a two slot, and a one slot. That's pretty good for any blast based building. And the other pieces are, you know, just kind of okay. 
In any case, then, that is your eight armor sets unlocked from both Rondine and the Meowcenaries. Get the rare item from each map, get the rare item from each category of trade, and unlock a bristling arsenal for you to add to your already beautiful monster-based collection. Let me know which is the uh, favorite that uh, you want to get your hands on, and until next time, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon. A uh, good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is uh goodbye.